Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Tesla's TSLA stock, Rivian stock, NEO stock, Lee Auto stock, and Mullen Automotive stock, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. However, we are going to have a specific focus on Tesla, NEO, and Mullen, while only briefly providing updates for both Rivian stock as well as Lee Auto. So for more electric vehicle stock news, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents to support me personally because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. But don't worry, if you can't afford 99 cents per month by subscribing, you will receive this content for absolutely free. So with that being said, I say let's dive right into today's stories. Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer which also specializes in energy storage as well as energy generation. In my opinion, Tesla is one of the best best investments on the stock market right now because Tesla's TSLA shares trade for only $280. On the high end, analysts believe this company could surge up to $335 over the next 12 months, while other more bearish negative analysts believe this company could fall to around $205. In another video that I'm going to post after this on the latest stock market news updates and the best stocks to buy, Tesla will be included, which we will dive closer into these particular price targets regarding why many financial institutions institutions have actually increased their overall Tesla stock price targets, which is very good. As Tesla stock price predictions or TSLA stock predictions increase, we can see a greater influx of investors buying this company. And I've also changed my prediction. Right now, since the fundamentals have caught up with this company, as of them cutting prices in Japan for their Model 3 and Model Y, which should increase demand, and also for them setting very impressive delivery numbers due to this increased demand from them lowering their overall prices for their electric vehicles, I have now changed my price prediction from $250 up to $300 per share because I think Tesla has officially earned that price target from me personally, and I will continue to hold this company as time goes on. But let's talk about why Tesla has actually been decreasing their overall prices for their electric vehicles over in Japan pertaining to their Model 3 and Model Y EVs. The company recently decreased their overall price targets on multiple variants, and they lowered the price of the Model 3 by around 3%, while their website showed that they lowered their Model Y variants by around 4%. The Model 3 price reduction made it more affordable for people over in Japan to buy more of these vehicles, which should increase the overall delivery numbers and demand for this type of vehicle. The Model 3 in Japan is priced at around 5,245,600 yen, or around 36,362 US dollars. However, Tesla has kept some unchanged prices for their Model S and Model X, and their higher priced electric vehicles have also started to increase in demand over in the Japanese market, which is very good for Tesla in general, which should increase their overall demand and delivery numbers from today going forward. This, I think, will invigorate investors overall, and this is why many prominent financial institutions and analysts as well as financial reporters such as myself have increased the price predictions for Tesla's TSLA stock. And again, if you want more Tesla news, I am going to release a video after this, which will go into more detail regarding Tesla's price targets and price predictions from professionals. But now, let's also move on to NIO, ticker symbol NIO, which is another electric vehicle company that is located over in China. I also want to say a quick Rivian update that Rivian has officially delivered some of their delivery vans to Amazon over over in Europe. So Rivian's RIVN stock price is increasing as of right now due to this very positive news. And again, in the next video, you will get a greater update on Rivian. But now let's focus on NIO, ticker symbol NIO, which currently trades for just $10 per share. For this company, we've been talking about this company very frequently pertaining to the massive upside potential during the second half of 2023, and now we have officially entered the second half of 2023, which is what we have been projecting out to. Even though it's only trading at $10 per share, the lower-end analysts believe this company is worth around $6.72, while the higher-end bullish analysts believe this company could surge up to $20 over the next 12 months due to this bullish momentum going into the second half of the year and into 2023. 
2024. If you have been following up with Neo, they recently had a giant foreign investment pour into their company in the form of cash in exchange for ownership through shares. And I did a previous video on that, so I'm not going to go into detail on it. So we're just going to focus on quarter three for this company pertaining to why stock reporters and analysts are ultra bullish on this stock right now. And we'll talk about exactly why that is. So Neo reported June deliveries for their electric vehicles at around 10,707 EV sold, which is actually a pretty substantial rebound from what they actually delivered back in April and May. However, 10,000 electric vehicles being sold is not enough to keep this company afloat. So why are so many analysts bullish on this company right now? Well, honestly, it's because of what management has said. NEO, according to them, has clear signs of setting a record from July onwards. So when we look at July and their quarter three sales, this is supposed to start an exponential increase in their overall delivery numbers, which should reflect on their revenues very positively. So to capture this consistent growth, investors need to be aware of exactly what management has planned for this company. So NEO needs to deliver around 32,000 vehicles per month in the second half of 2023 to double its sales from the 122,486 electric vehicles or units that they delivered last year. And that was the original estimation from management. However, NEO has been struggling to deliver more than 10,000 vehicles in any given month. So how could they possibly double their overall vehicles that they made and delivered from last year? Well, well, it really comes down to their momentum and their ability to manufacture and market in the electric vehicle space. And here is where the rub is. The major problem is that the current electric vehicle target that NEO set for itself was actually too low. Because during the second half of 2022, they could deliver 120,000 units only in the second half. But some believe NEO could end up far surpassing this overall target to double their sales to officially achieve approximately 250,000 deliveries for the year. However, I am more bullish on the lower end estimates to where I do think we are going to see a radical incline in the overall demand and the amount of deliveries that they are shipping out. But overall... For them to achieve a quarter of a million deliveries may not be very plausible. Also, we know that other electric vehicle companies over in China are also doing very well. Take Li Auto, for example, ticker symbol LI, which currently topped 32,000 deliveries just in June, which squashed Neo's overall deliveries to where they have now scaled over 150% in regards to their overall delivery demand compared to the only 11,000 that they sold last year for the same time period. Also, we see BYD, which is probably the number one competitor to Tesla in the Chinese EV market, also growing exponentially. But now let's focus back on NEO, even though I also personally own Li Auto as well as BYD. Let's take a look at NEO's cash position, and this is where investors are getting very excited. So NEO currently right now ended quarter one with a cash balance of around $5.5 billion. And the reason why they need this is because they are experiencing a lot of cash burn. They are not a profitable company as of right now. So as time goes on, they are actually losing money, which is coming from their overall cash. So investors need them to ramp up their overall deliveries, which in turn will give them more revenue, which hopefully they can transfer over into profitability. But in the meantime, they are burning cash. And I also want to say approximately 2.8 billion dollars are actually in debt. So really they have less than three billion dollars of liquid cash that they could realistically use unless they just want to have their debt compile higher. But let's see how this increase in demand for their overall electric vehicles could positively impact their overall sales and overall money. So in the fourth quarter of 2023, their sales target for the company is three billion dollars to where Neo could produce 450 million in gross profit after virtually nothing in quarter one of the same year. So NEO appears to be headed in the correct direction, and if professionals are right and they are going to see a huge increase in demand, this is going to radically impact NEO positively. So the key takeaways of this is that their demand is increasing, the amount of vehicles that they are going to deliver is set to increase from July onwards, and this could 
push them closer to overall profitability, especially since they are planning to launch new models, including their new ES6, their ET5 Touring, and their ES8. So overall, I would say it's pretty bullish news coming for Neo stock. But also, other Chinese vehicle makers are doing very well, including Li Auto as well as BYD. But for me personally, Tesla is my number one electric vehicle that I hold, and then it would be BYD, and then it would be Neo, and then it would be a few other smaller American companies, and then it would be Li Auto. But let's talk about our last electric vehicle company, which I was never bullish on, and I actually told you that this was a terrible investment, and that would be Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Now, I know a lot of you really wanted this company to do well, and I did too, but I even said I would not invest into this company because fundamentally they have not proven themselves. And we also have seen multiple predictions of mine come true in this company. So if you didn't know, Mullen Automotive is a startup electric vehicle company that is trading at only 11 cents. And due to its cheap share price, investors thought this was going to be a good investment. That's why Wall Street bets and many other investors thought, why not invest $10 or $100 or even $1,000? Because if this company experiences any upside, you are going to make a lot of money. And I understand that perspective, but that honestly would be gambling and not investing. I said to wait for this company to prove themselves first and then invest into this company. Many investors were misled with the announcements of partnerships and deals, which looked to increase the overall confidence for investors. But overall, a lot of these things didn't even come through to fruition. Now, I do want to say that they did recently deliver vehicles to Randy Marion, and they got revenue of just over $300,000, which is very good. However, with the MULN stock price under $1 having lost 90% of its overall value in the past year, I really don't see the appeal to this overall company. Just look at the overall graph, it's so negative, and honestly, there is really no way for this company to have a substantial comeback considering that they have already diluted stockholders. You most likely, if you hold this company, are deep in the red. So if you would have originally done what I did, considering that I don't invest into companies unless they prove themselves or have a very impressive track record of achieving their actual promises. That's why I predicted that Mullen would originally do a 1 for 25 stock split, which occurred back in May. However, they are anticipating to do another stock split, which could be as severe as 1 for 100, diluting the mess out of shareholders. Again, no one thought that the original reverse stock split was actually going to happen, and guess what? It ended up happening exactly Exactly as I predicted. Now we have threats of another reverse stock split happening, which could further dilute shareholders. Again, once a company proves themselves or has a good trajectory to become profitable or selling their electric vehicles in mass or even a first mover or some type of technical advantage compared to their competition, that's when you invest into this company. But just based off of their low share price, that is not an excuse to invest into companies like Mullen Automotive. We should practice proper risk management, not exposing ourselves more than a 5% initial portfolio portfolio allocation to any singular risky growth company, and that's after we've already assessed this company for long-term success. So even if you've lost money on this company, use this as a learning opportunity to wait for companies to prove themselves before you jump in. Also use this as an opportunity to make sure you don't overexpose yourself more than a 5% initial portfolio allocation because companies don't always work out. I'm sure you're in the red for a multitude of companies, and that is due to your investing style. So I hope you can take this as an opportunity to learn, practice proper risk management, and be able to identify companies that have proven themselves so you can build long-term growth. Now, again, I am not saying that Mullen could not have a substantial rebound or even pull a miracle, but I would not bet on them actually doing that. The probability is just not in Mullen's favor as of right now, and until they prove themselves, I don't think it deserves your hard-earned cash. So that would be my take on Tesla stock, Neo stock, and Mullen Automotive. For more videos just like this one, don't forget to annihilate that like button right now, especially if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to comment your thoughts about Tesla, Rivian, Lee Auto, Neo, and Mullen Automotive. Don't forget to become a member of this channel, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.